All right, guys, we are back at it with episode two. We're gonna be showing you a DIY hood project, something that you can do at home to drastically change how your car looks. What I do recommend though, maybe snag a buddy, it's gonna help you out a lot. One awesome thing about wrapping a hood is it can drastically change the look of the car. So on this car, what we're gonna do is put a matte black film on there. The car is already gloss black, so what that's gonna do is give it a two-tone look. So now I'm gonna show you some tools that you need to get the job done. First thing, felt edge squeegee. This is gonna help squeegee the film out, get any air out of it. Next thing, breakaway knife. Preferred with a 30 degree blade versus the 58 you might find out there, but obviously you know why you're gonna need this. Tape measure, always measure twice. Um, so in this bottle here, we have 50% uh, alcohol to water diluted spray. That's just gonna ensure that all the surfaces are as clean as possible. Some clean towels to go along with that. Your heat gun, that's gonna help you seal any edges and also post heat if you have to stretch the film. And lastly, you're gonna need a clay bar. The clay bar is used to decontaminate the paint. So what you're gonna wanna do is wash the car first and then clay bar the areas that you're gonna be wrapping. Another helpful tip before you start laying down film is to go ahead and inspect the surface. You want the cleanest possible install when you're going to put your wrap on. It's time to pop the hood and clean these inside edges off. They are pretty dirty, so what we're gonna wanna do is clean those off as best as possible. That way all of our edges stay down and stick. All right, my buddy Ryan, help me get this thing going. All right, next step, guys, is you're gonna have to measure out this hood. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and measure, and you're gonna wanna leave a couple inches of bleed. So usually two to three inches per side, just to give you enough access to make sure everything is covered. What you want to do is peel the liner off and then Ryan and I are going to stretch the film over the hood. What we're going for here is what's also called complete glass. We want to get the hood as glassed as possible without any fingers in it. After you glass the middle of the hood, you're going to want to use the triangle method on the corners. That's going to relieve all the tension in the film and give you a complete glass finish. All right guys, now we're ready to start squeegeeing. We're going to do one vertical right down the middle, divide that right in half. I'm gonna take this side, Ryan's gonna work on his side, and we're just gonna start squeegeeing the film out. Nothing crazy here, just kinda of wanna work it at a nice angle. Pretty good pressure on this one, you're not... Do it too softly, it's gonna trap some air in the film, and you'll see some bubbles and stuff, which can kinda of be a pain in the butt to get out. So we want a nice firm squeegee on there, and work all that air out back and forth. So on this hood, there's a pretty steep body line right here. It dips down pretty far. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna lift the film up now and relax it down into that curve. The reason you wanna relax it is the vinyl can handle curves like this sometimes, but it's probably gonna pop back up. So by relaxing the film in there, it gives us a nice finish that we know is gonna stay. So you can see what I'm doing with my left hand here is I'm kind of pulling the film out, creating tension there. So as I'm squeegeeing, I'm not getting any creases in the film. So now we are going back and picking this up just to this body line here. What we're gonna do is then just glass over the body line between the hood and the fender. What this is gonna do is this is gonna help us get a really nice cut and finish for the edge. All right guys, so we're almost gonna start cutting here. So what we're gonna do, you see this corner here, we're just gonna kind of round that with our thumb like this. And you're just gonna take your blade and just scoop right underneath it like that. And then just cut away from the corner, going this way. Push down your corner, corner's done. You can take your finger, I'm just gonna run this top edge like this, right across the top. Kind of push that down on the edge there. 
just want it to sit right on the edge. You don't need to go crazy. Sides all good? Cool. So now what we're gonna do, it's called the knife under method. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and pop your blade out a little bit, and you're going to just slide the knife underneath like this, so you're not gonna get any blade on the paint, and just go ahead and slide pulling towards yourself, right underneath there. Give you a nice straight line. Just like that, looks good. All right, so now we are cutting the fender side edge. What we're gonna do is just use the knife, go just inside the fender, and just get a nice straight line that'll wrap the edge all the way down. All right, then what you're gonna wanna do next, just take your finger, just relax this in right here along this edge. Round off your corner and go ahead and tuck that in just like that. All right, so you can see we left quite a bit of film on the front of the hood. The reason for that is we wanna wrap this edge in more than we did the other ones. This is a high grab, high touch area that can cause film to peel back. So we really wanna wrap this edge in more to protect the vinyl. Now that the front edge is all tucked in, I'm gonna go ahead and use my blade to just do a nice cut along the body mold line and get a nice even finish. Next, we're gonna grab our heat gun and seal all the inside edges. The heat is gonna relax the film into all the edges and creases of the hood. All right guys, hood is done. Go ahead and shut this bad boy. Boom, looks great. Matte black with the gloss. We're all set. All right guys, there you have it. Now you're ready to go out and wrap your own hood. Remember to drop a comment down below and let us know what stuff you want to see. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. We'll see you next time.